Hi, this is Carl, and this is another SOP video for managed service providers. Today I want to talk about whiteboards. More specifically, I want to encourage you to buy as many whiteboards as you can fit in your office. Here is the deal. Whiteboards are great for helping people uh, get down their thoughts, for helping two or more people to work through a problem or to strategize about how they might tackle something. You may recall from cloud services in a month that I told the story of having this huge, huge whiteboard at our office. And when it came time to design our first cloud five pack, our first cloud offering, we erased the board and we wrote out what our goals were, what should be included, what we hope the price point is going to be and so forth. And we worked through the whole thing and we had different sections of the board designed for different things. So there's only a handful of things you need to know about whiteboards. First of all, they're not very expensive. They're easy to maintain. And in a perfect world, I think everybody should have at least one or two in their office. If you have actual closed offices, there should be one or two whiteboards in every office. If you have one big whiteboard that everybody in the company can use, that would be spectacular. It should be in your conference room or as centrally located as you could possibly make it. So it's very important that you have whiteboards, partly because they help you build the culture of your business strategy. They help people to publicly post up what their ideas are. So in the room that I'm in right now, there's a whiteboard here and there's one directly in front of me. And they both say across the top, nothing happens by itself. Right? That's my motto. That's the way that we run this business, right? We believe that that is the case. So how do we make things happen? We put it on a whiteboard. Now, in terms of how people use them, I would recommend that you don't let people fill them with junk that never gets erased. This is not your to-do list. You got a PSA or a CRM for that, or maybe you have a project management tool. <clears throat> this is a place for you to think with other people. And that's a key piece of it. And even if it's just you, this is a place for you to think out your thoughts, think out your strategies. I have listed on the other whiteboard some of our goals for the year, goals for last year, goals for next year. We're going to have a meeting very shortly and talk about how we solidify all of this. Once we have made a decision, we just take a photograph of it, scan that or send it to each other or whatever we need to do, but we capture that data. It doesn't live on the whiteboard. If you notice when you look at people who are doing videos and so forth in their offices, I do a lot of Zoom calls with people who are in their offices, you get a glimpse here and there of different whiteboards. They're very widely used, but you should make sure that you use them strategically. This is not a poster. This is not a permanent installation. This is something that you can use to constantly be changing things. Whether you put up a quote of the day or you use it for strategy sessions, make sure you use it, take advantage of it. Two tiny, tiny little practical tips. First, an excellent cleaner for whiteboards is isopropyl alcohol. It's ridiculously cheap and it's easy uh, to just take a Kleenex and wipe off the board. Uh, obviously, just a regular dry erase eraser is good. Second tip, avoid low odor dry erase pens. It's a, just a silly concept. Low odor dry erase pens don't erase very well. The part of the high odor of the high odor pens is the chemicals that help you erase so easily. If you get a stained board and you need to clean it nice and white, the easiest way to do that is to take a regular dry erase pen right through everything and then wipe it off. In fact, if somebody, in most cases, if somebody uses a permanent marker by accident on your board, you can probably use a regular, not a low odor, dry erase pen to go through that several times and erase it, eventually it'll come out. Anyway, enjoy your whiteboards. I'd love to see pictures of them. And if you have any feedback, I'll be happy to take it. For Small Biz Thoughts, this is Carl Palchuk, wishing you the best of luck in your managed service business. Like it if you like it, share it with your friends, and absolutely subscribe to the channel.